As the day warms, shafts of sunlight reach the forest floor, bringing one of the wood's keystone species back above ground. A mound nest, a metropolis as large below ground as it is above. and home to 100,000 Scottish wood ants. Their nest lies on a south-facing slope, warmed by the sun, and within close range of their most important food source. In the native Scots pines above, Thousands of aphids are drinking sap from the branches, and the ants are in close attendance. But they're not here to hunt the aphids. They're farming them. As the sap passes through the aphids' bodies, the excess sugar is discharged. These honeydew droplets are what the ants are waiting for. This sugar-rich sap forms up to 90% of the ants' diet. And in return, the aphids get protection from predators. The ants herd the aphids to more productive parts of the tree, tickling them to stimulate production. Transporters then carry the honeydew deep into the nest, where it will feed the whole colony. But this isn't the only benefit. By collecting the honeydew, the wood ants capture huge quantities of carbon, burying it in the forest soil. They're tiny ecological warriors, performing a crucial role in the forest ecosystem recycling nutrients and preying on other invertebrates which can damage the trees. Over the centuries, our ancient Caledonian pine forests have been stripped away, reducing and fragmenting the ant's range. But moves are underway here to restore the forest to grow and reconnect fragments dotted throughout the landscape, allowing the trees to reclaim their rightful place here. 